I finally made it this far. My name is Shindo Arakura. I'm a fourth year college student that's in the middle of job hunting. Today's the day for my final interview at a company that I have been striving to get a position at. I've been able to get through many selections and filter processes. I've looked forward to working here for a long time. I'm going to do everything in my power to get a job here. Come in, please. Y yes, ma'am. I have the reason I want to join and my selling points mastered. Now if I just get on the good side of the interviewer, I'm going to pass this interview. Excuse me. Thank you for taking the time. Huh? Is there a problem? N no, it's nothing. I see. Very well. Please take a seat right over there. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you not going to take a seat? No, um, you are Ronka-san, right? Yes, I am Ronka Misono. I'm your ex-girlfriend and the CEO of this company you are currently applying to work at. The CEO? When I was in high school, I was dating a girl called Ronka-san, who was two years older than me. Who knew I'd run into her in a place like this? Wait, you didn't even search the name of the CEO for the company that you're applying to work at? I did, but you had a different last name from when we were dating. Oh, my mom got remarried and my last name changed. I mean, I guess if I get married, my last name is going to change again. You built this company? Yes, I started it when I was still in college. I used the sadness of a certain someone dumping me to motivate me. I worked very hard. Ugh. But more importantly, have a seat. You realize that I've got other candidates I need to interview and other plans after this, right? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You still squeeze your fist when you get nervous, don't you? I'm sorry. All right, this is the official start to the final interview. You make sure to answer everything truthfully and as honestly as possible. This is like a court case or something. Shinji Nikura-san, this is your first question. What is your current body count? <laughs> what is the problem? Please answer the question in a swift manner. Yeah, there is a glaringly obvious problem with that question. Um, by body count do you mean... Obviously. What I am saying is how many people have you flopped around like a dying fish on a bed with? Um, I'm not sure how this has anything to do with the final interview. What are you talking about? I need to know everything about the person that I am planning on hiring. Calm down, me. Can I let the silly question stand in the way of getting into the company that I fought tooth and nail a chance of getting into? It's zero. Are you saying that you haven't gone out with a single person after breaking up with me? Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> what are those eyes? I mean, you completely dumped me, you know. Just plain and cold, on the spot. I figured that it was because you were interested in someone else. There isn't anyone that I was interested in. Oh, well, whatever. On to the next question. She used that as an opener to start talking about a huge amount of random questions that were at best questionable. What's your favorite type in a woman? Do you want to live with someone before you marry them? Do you hug when welcoming someone home at the entrance or back in the living room? However, she did seem to understand that this was an interview, though she mixed in some occasional serious questions as well. You said that you were interested in the planning department. Why is that? Y yeah I mean, yes ma'am. I was very attracted to your planning department as your company had produced numerous huge hit products using excellent marketing tactics. As a huge fan of your products, I want to help out with publicity and expansion of your business. Right. So I guess you're not just bluffing when you said that it was for the company that you're most interested in working at. All right, well, the next question is going to be your final question for the interview. 
At first, I was really worried and unsure of what was going to go on, but I was able to say what I needed to say. I just get through this. Why didn't you make me happy? Uh, that's... Are you unable to answer this question? I first met Ronka-san when some certain troubles began. That day, I was heading home from school like I always did, when I noticed Ronka-san depressed and gloomy, alone at the park. I decided to talk to her. Um, are you okay? You look like you're a bit under the weather. Huh? Oh, uh... It doesn't look like you're hurt, or sick or anything. If you're troubled about something, I might be able to help you out? Well, I have been getting followed around by one of my classmates, a boy. It's not like he does anything directly to me, but he's over there right now as we speak. Normally, he just goes away sooner or later, but today, he's been following me around at school, too. Ah, you've been killing time with the park to avoid him finding out where I live. Have you talked to your parents about this? I actually only have a mother. Apparently, she divorced my father because he abused her. My mother has some trauma when it comes to men, and she's incredibly busy with her work, so I don't want to bother her at all. We can't just keep this up either. I really need to get home soon today because I'm expecting a package, but... Man, this isn't good. By the way, do you live around here? Yeah, it's right around the corner over there. You just make the turn and walk a little bit. Ah, you're my neighborhood. Hmm. I decided to glare towards the stalker just out of curiosity. He saw me look at him and immediately ran away. He had the back of a coward. Apparently, he wasn't able to come off strong towards a man. It's not like he did anything to directly harm you or anything. So you can't really talk to the school or the police. They'll just turn you away. That doesn't mean that you're comfortable because you don't know what he might do. Am I right in that? I yes I have a suggestion for you. I'll be your bodyguard for a while. Let's go to and from school together from now on. Huh? But I'm sure that's a lot of work for you. Not at all. It seems like we live near each other anyway. Why don't we just pretend to be dating as well? I'm sure that I'll eventually give up after that. Are you sure about this? Of course. I'll do my best to protect you. Okay then, thank you for doing this. Oh, it's my pleasure. I look forward to being your bodyguard. That's how we agreed that we would be pretend girlfriend and boyfriend until she graduated. Starting the next day, we started doing things together. Of course, we went to and from school together, but slowly, we started hanging out together on weekends as well. Hey, Shinji-kun, do you want to see the Christmas lights sometime? Huh? But aren't you supposed to be studying for your entrance exams? Oh, please, I need to blow up some steam from time to time, and if something happens, you're there to protect me, right? Ah, <sighs> okay. The things I do for you. At first, she just looked dark and gloomy, but slowly, she started to smile more and more often. Time went on, and it was quickly graduation. Congratulations on your graduation! You're going to be moving into your college dorm starting tomorrow, right? Yes. By the way, I've talked to your stalker, and I've made sure that he stops following you around from now on, so don't worry about that. That smile is kind of scaring me, Shinji-kun. You really did take care of me that whole time, didn't you? Oh, please. You taught me so well that my grades have skyrocketed. My parents are so happy, too. <laughs> I remember the first time we met, you were basically failing all your tests and quizzes. Hey, Shinji-kun, if you're interested... I'll be rooting for you. Huh? You just make sure you go find your happiness, Ronka-san. Let's start going our ways from here on out. Uh, we can't be together anymore? Ronka-san is going to go on to pursue her dreams from here on out. You shouldn't be bound by some young kid like me. 
If we ever run into each other again as adults, let's have a drink or two together. Goodbye, Ronka-san. Goodbye, my first love. I'm going to ask you one more time. Why didn't you make me happy? You were able to find your happiness and make your dreams become a reality. You did it. I see. That's your answer, huh? That's all the questions from me for this interview. I'll let you know the results of the interview in the near future. Thank you for coming today. It, it's all over now. Rakasan was freaking furious. I mean, why wouldn't she be? I offered to pretend to be her boyfriend, and then just blew her off completely after it all ended. I'm sure she wouldn't hire some irresponsible idiot like me. Huh? A call? From Rakasan too? Hello? Thank you for coming by today. I'm just getting right into it. Let me tell you about today's interview results. I did not expect her to call this soon after the interview. Should I be excited right now? I'm sorry, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hire you onto the planning department. I knew it. I kind of understand, but it doesn't change the fact that I feel upset. I'm going to put this out there, though. We really did conduct all of the interviewing process very strictly. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your time this time around. Good luck moving forward, Ronka-san. Hang on, the real reason I'm calling you begins now. Would you be interested in becoming my secretary? Your secretary? Yes, things are getting quite busy recently, so I was actually considering finding someone to work for me as a secretary. I mean, that would really make me happy. I would be grateful, but... Are you sure you want a guy like me? You know my personality well. You are perfect for the job. I've never done any kind of secretarial work. I'm kind of irresponsible. Oh my gosh, shut up and come help me at my office. I ended up getting pushed by her and after graduating college, I ended up working as Ronka-san's secretary. Did you finish the documents for the A Company? I'm going to check it, so go ahead and email it to me. A call from B Company? It's probably just sales, so ignore them. I'm going to be having a meeting with C Company this afternoon, so please adjust the office conference. I need you to buy some gifts for D Company. The CEO there likes sweets, so just keep that in mind. Thanks. I'm beat. It definitely makes sense how she was able to build such a massive corporation in such a short time. No. I'm not going to give up this easily. I'm going to do my best to try to reduce the amount of pressure on her as her secretary. I continue to work and give him my absolute best. I made some mistakes from time to time, but Rakasan didn't just chew me out. Not only would she help me out and cover my ass, but also teach me how to do it, so that I didn't make the same mistake again. Great work. Do you have any time after this? Oh, yes ma'am. After I finish sending out this mail, I'm done for today's work. Well, I'm going to check out the store to bring some clients around someday. Come with me. Y yes ma'am. Uh, Shinji-kun, are you listening? Yes. I'm definitely listening. I think I've heard you tell me that story like five times now. When you talked to me at the park, oh my god, you're a knight in shining armor. And now it's the sixth time. Honestly, you're really embarrassing me, so please, just stop. Two hours since we'd gone into the bar, she barely talked about work at all. She was basically only talking about her ex-boyfriend, me. And they were all great things, too. I think you're having a little too much to drink, ma'am. That's enough for now. What? Just one more drink... If you drink too much, it's going to affect your work tomorrow. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna take your beer then. Wait, he... Hmm, I wonder where you put your lips. Ah, it's right here. She intentionally drank from where I drank on the glass. <laughs> I kissed you. That's literally not really a kiss. But, uh, I mean, you didn't really kiss me when we were dating, so I am so nervous right now. 
Hey, Shinji-kun, do you not like me? Of course I don't dislike you. But you never invite me out for drinks. I've been waiting, you know. Well, how is the secretary supposed to casually just invite out his CEO for a drink? Oh. If we ever run into each other again as adults, let's have a drink or two together. You still remember what I told you back then, huh? Of course I did. I've thought about it and remembered it all throughout college and even after I started working. I never forgot about it. I'm so happy right now that I'm able to work with you. Bronkasad. All right, tomorrow is our business trip, so let's call it a night. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. There's one room in tomorrow's hotel for our trip, so just know that. Huh? It's to cut back on costs. What, were you excited or something? Expect something to happen? Uh, of course not. I'm sure that the reason my heart wouldn't stop beating so fast was because of the alcohol. The next day, I was remembering what Ronkasana had said to me the night before. She's been playing me like a fiddle from the moment that I ran into her again. Kun, Shinji Kun? Y yes, ma'am. <sighs> Were you not listening to what I said? I'm sorry, ma'am. Ronkasan was so drunk last night. But she's acting like she normally does today. She is definitely the lead CEO. So, what I was saying is, would you be interested in joining the planning meeting with the planning department next time? Huh? Planning meeting? Yes, I think it might be good to get some new input. B but I'm just your secretary. Yes, but you wanted to do the planning work, right? Or what? Are you going to stay my secretary forever? Do you not need my help, Rakasan? I've been doing everything on my own this whole time, more than anything. I don't want you to just throw away your entire plans away from me. I... I'm not. I think I finally understand what you meant. Those words that you said to me before you left. The meaning of what I said? You just make sure you go find happiness, Ranka. That's what you told me. I'm going to find my own happiness by myself, so you go and do that too. Rankasan. I'm not going to tell you to decide right here, right now. But just let me know what you think again sometime. Afterwards, the business meeting was a huge success. Rankasan seriously is an incredible businesswoman. I'm sure that she's going to be reaching heights that I can never imagine in the future. I wonder where I'm going to be when that happens. I wonder what she wants to do. I wonder who she wants to be with. I'm so freaking tired. Great work out there, Ronkasan. Hmm. Ronkasan? Oh, sorry. I was just remembering old times. Old times? The day we first met. You talked to me out of the blue, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. So, did you decide on an answer? About the planning thing? Yes, ma'am. I would like to give it a shot. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea for you. However, I have no intention of quitting my job as a secretary for you. Huh? I'm going to do my best for the planning department. But I'm going to spend as much of the time that I'm not working and planning on you. I may not be a secretary directly. I don't want to stay by your side and continue to support you. Even if I'm not your secretary going forward, I want to stay by your side and support you. I don't want to make a very important portion to me all alone again. This is what I want to do. This is what makes me happy. Shinji-kun. I want to stay by your side from now on as well. Please, allow me to stay with you. Well, I guess when you put it that way... What's going on? Why are you suddenly acting all fidgety? Are you, you know, suggesting that you want to? What do you mean? Wait, you didn't know? 
Um, well, uh... No, let me say it up front and honestly. Ranka-san, I like you. Please, go out with me and be my girlfriend again. Of course, I never stopped liking you since the day you left me. We slept in the same bed that night. Things have become even more busy somehow. I was asked to work in the planning department along with her as her secretary, so sometimes I would even have to keep Ranka-san waiting for me back at home. Yes, you read that right. We started living together. Welcome home! I'm home! Oh my god, I'm exhausted. Yeah, the planning department conference seems to have lasted a while, huh? Yeah, everyone was just so passionate, you know? Well, great work. Here, a healing hug. I don't know who's the secretary at this point. Hey, Shinji-kun, I worked really hard today, too. Yeah, yeah, great job, Ranka-san. <laughs> Employees don't know anything about this, but our CEO loves to be spoiled. All right, it's time for the final interview, isn't it? Thankfully, we've got quite a few applicants this year as well. Well, the article piece that was written about you during the interview was incredible. Well, it states to a certain secretary that checked every single line. I mean, it is a little trouble that everyone seemed to want to work at the planning department. And they're all cute. And they're all girls. Huh? Is it just me or are you being jealous right now? Oh, shut up, silly. We heard a light knock coming from outside the door. Come in. Uh, excuse me. She seemed to be incredibly nervous. I thought about the last time that I was at my final interview here. I never would have expected myself to be in the situation that I am now back then. Please, have a seat. Go ahead and relax, okay? All right, let's get started on the final interview. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.